guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different of an Ipsy video because I'm going to be unboxing my very first Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box. I was kind of on the fence about purchasing this box just because it is so expensive. It is $50 a month, but it has eight full-size products inside. And you're also getting four deluxe size products as well. So for $50, I mean, some people, you know, you can spend that much in a month at like Sephora or Ulta or something along that line. But I like surprises and stuff like that. That's why I kind of really like the Ipsy bag so much. And I just, I don't really get around to shopping at Sephora and Ulta as much as I would like to. And I, I used to do a lot in the past. Uh, so this is just kind of a way for my beauty products to come straight to me. So I decided to give the ultimate a whirl and today we're gonna be unboxing the October box. So this is what the box looked like when it came to me. It's just kind of a salmon pink color and says Ipsy on the front. So I did pop the tape so it would be easier for me to get inside here. It just says discover yourself. That must be the theme of the box. And then we also still have like the foam bit. This month it is orange for Halloween, I am assuming. But here is a look at what is inside the box. We're just gonna go through everything and see what I got. So as always, we do have a little booklet here that's gonna tell us everything that is inside and how to use the product if you know you're not entirely sure one thing i'm noticing is that i don't see retail values i don't see prices on the products like how much and that's one thing i like because then it kind of gives you an idea of you know the value of the box and i don't see that that's a little weird but let's just go into what was inside. So we are still getting a makeup bag. This is definitely larger than your average sized Ipsy makeup bag. For reference, I do have an older Ipsy bag. So it's not, oh gosh, the snow cone truck is coming by. So if you hear some like magical music playing, that's what it is. It's kind of a nice day outside. So as you can see, it's not a whole lot bigger than your average size Ipsy bag, just ever so slightly. So, but anyway, it is black and we do have a little Betty Boop down here on the bottom and then the zipper pull is just a little red heart and then this side has sequins and there's nothing like on the other side of the sequins but it is like one of those where you can like move the sequins kind of thing so let's see what the inside looks like Ooh, the inside is lined in just a red satiny fabric and it does say betty boop ipsy there on the inside. So, I mean, it's a cute bag. Just, like I said, not much larger than your average sized Ipsy bag. So, one of the first products I'm pulling out is this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is, it is a Best of Beauty Allure Award winner from 2017. So, I am really anxious to try this. I like Using makeup remover, I mean, it's something I have to use every day as it is, so we will try it out, and that is a 3.4 fluid ounce. So that's definitely one of the full-sized items. So I'll show you guys the packaging and <laughs> see if I can smell. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oopsie, there it goes. It comes with a little uh, spatula. I guess to help put it on your face if you need help applying it, I guess. Um, and I, I wanna smell it. I just, I like to smell things. Oh, it's green. Okay, it does have a scent and it's like a very clean kind of smell. It's not strong at all. It's just a very light fragrance and it does have a, a bit of a green tint to it. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. Like I said, 
makeup remover is something, if you wear makeup and you're getting the Ipsy box, you're pretty much wearing makeup pretty frequently. So it's definitely something that, you know, we use on a daily basis. So got that. Next thing I'm seeing in here is a Betty Boop Ipsy Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette. And here's the packaging, very pretty. I like Betty Boop. This one is called <laughs> You're a Peach. Oh, those are the shades. You're a Peach, All Dolled Up, and Heartbreaker. So let's take a look at those. I honestly don't wear a whole lot of blush. Um, I don't know if I have that in my uh, profile about blush or wanting blush, liking blush. I don't know. I feel like I maybe need to do a little revamping of my profile a bit. So, oh gosh, that packaging is so cute. So you see Betty Boop and like a red foil there on the side. Like the packaging is slippery. It's hard for me to even open it. Whoop. I'm assuming, yeah. So there is a film over the mirror. So when you pull that off, it'll actually be a mirror. It's not, it's not really like that. Oh. Does that work? So here are the shades in the Betty Boop blush palette. They're very pretty, very neutral colors. So I will do a little bit of a swatch for you. Um, I always joke about, I don't know why I bother with swatches because I'm so pale. Cause I don't know if you're going to even be able to see those. Oh, so I'm excited to add that to my collection. Next we have a Farrah makeup brush set. It just says be beautiful, be you. And these are, you know, full size brushes. You get three of them in here. So gonna open them up and gosh they feel really nice so they all have like a protective plastic bit over the bristles and the handles feel really really good they are like a matte black and then they have this indentation here on the handle which is so nice because it just feels so good in your hands when you're holding it so the first brush is a 20 ff this is just called a straight brush then there is the stippling 40 fm and then the last one is a cheeky end 218 so i'm gonna pull this off of here so we can feel it oh are those bristles like a really dark blue that is gorgeous that is so pretty it's like a very dark like bluish purple color the bristles are hopefully you can see that so pretty and these are really soft feel so good in the hand oh my gosh cannot wait to start using those i love makeup brushes that is something like i just feel like i can never have enough of i don't know love them so next we got the oh gosh i'm gonna butcher saying this la o serum soin hydratant whatever it is by a company called bio race it says it is an ultimate hydration skincare all day hydrating serum for moisturizing and improving the skin complex. This is a one milliliter, milliliter, did I say one milliliter? One fluid ounce. This is made in Korea. So this is also a full size product. So I'm trying to like keep track here. Um, I consider that the third full sized product in this batch. So this is sealed and yeah, winter is coming. My skin is gonna get super dry on my face. I always end up getting like red patches or just like really dry patches around my nose. So that'll definitely come in handy. Next we got an Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner by Kaleido Cosmetics. And I'm assuming this is just in black. I'm assuming. Uh, but here is the packaging. And I will open this up so we can see it. I typically, like when I wear eyeliner, I usually wear brown, but um, I sometimes do wear black. Oh, this is also sealed. 
So I'm not gonna unseal this just because I don't like opening everything um, just so like things can keep their freshness since I'm not really needing to use it right now. So I apologize if um, that upsets anyone that I don't swatch absolutely everything. I will swatch this guy though. This is a Reflect Lip Gloss by Sieste Moi. It's me. Um, and the shade is called Opulence. So here's what the packaging looks like. You can kind of see it through the packaging here, but I am going to open it for you because I do want to swatch it. So let's take a look here. Oh goodness, that's really pretty. So it's almost like a, oh, what would you call that? Like a pinky light purpley like lavender-ish shade it doesn't have a smell if y'all want to know where my mirror came from um check out my other channel Xper. i just am um, posting a video of that mm -mm -mm. so it just gives a bit of a shimmer and gloss to the lips. I don't really see a, I don't really see like a, sh like any kind of a tint that happened or anything like that. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand too, just to see. Yeah, to me, it's just a clear, slightly shimmery uh, lip gloss, which is nice to have. Next is a eyeshadow champagne life by color colored rain colored rain am i reading that right Doo -doo 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 -doo. colored rain cosmetics yep packaging is really pretty i love like the foiled look to the packaging there so let's see what that looks like okay so here is what the packaging looks like when you open it up and just looks like a really nice light golden champagne color very shimmery very gold oh yes that's really pretty this would be great for new year's winter just in general i think so that's really nice next we got two masks two sheet masks this is by the brand called the sayem um i've used stuff by that brand before and i liked it i think these are also from korea yep this one is the natural avocado it is deep moisturizing and then this one is natural shea butter which is protecting so i love face masks i love sheet masks so those will definitely get used up Next, we have a Huda Beauty. This is the Warm Brown Obsessions eyeshadow palette. This is exciting. I got this Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions eyeshadow palette in one of my last Ipsy glam bags. Oh gosh, this is so dirty. But you can see, I really have been loving this shade right there. I am. Um, I use that one a lot. So I'm excited for this one. So here's what that packaging looks like. And this one has definitely more browns, just very full. Like this is a perfect full eyeshadow palette. And just to kind of put them side by side, since I already have the mauve here in my hand. So mauve brown, mauve obsessions brown obsessions so i'm excited for that just because i really do like my mauve we also got a sila creme de la creme the very best cream uh this is just a body cream looks like this so i will probably use this on my hands it is sealed but i'm gonna open it because i'm just gonna put some on my hands right now because oh my my skin is already getting dry and I can just never have enough hand lotions enough body creams I mean oh gosh that smells good 
Mmm. Oh, that smells wonderful. What is that? I feel like I can detect the fragrance, but I'm not sure what it is. It's a little bit sweet. It's orange. It is orange and grapefruit. And I get that. It smells like an orange creamsicle, like a sweet orange creamsicle. It smells absolutely amazing. Next, there is a Unicorn Glow Long Wear Primer. This is also made in Korea. And it just looks like that. So just a primer. Feels really nice. Obviously, you're not going to see anything. It's just a primer. Um, but I will definitely try that out. And then lastly, we got an eggplant mud cream mask by Papa Recipe. How cute is that? This is also made in Korea. So there were a lot of Korean beauty products in this box, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this too. I love masks and eggplant just sounds really fun to me. So, and everything is sealed as well. So that is everything that was in the very first, my very first, um, Ipsy Ultimate Glam Bag, Glam Box, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will say, I feel like when I signed up, it said that you could choose one of your items, but I swear I did not get that option for this box. I don't know if I missed, where's my paper? I don't know if I missed the the timing to pick my product or what, but I do see on the front of the pamphlet here, it says that starting on October 23rd, you get to choose one of your Glam Bag Ultimate products. And then using our Ipsy Match technology, we'll build the rest of your bag to complement your choice. So I don't understand why I didn't get a chance to pick my first for this box. Like, why would they do it on the second? Why didn't they start it on the first? I don't know. Did I miss it? If you guys know, um, let me know. Um, but also, it says that my 12 Glam Bag Ultimate products are worth $250 plus. dollars. So, that's really awesome. But like I said, there's not... Um, prices marked on the pamphlet anymore or at least not for these um, so that's a little disappointing just because I kind of like to know I mean I can google it if I'm really all that curious but so far I mean I'm pretty happy about this box I definitely would love to keep it will I keep it I probably will keep it for a while because I don't know I get to like the snow cone truck is right outside my door right now tempting me tempting me with that music oh it sounds so tropical and it's slightly chilly <laughs> because we are in fall but sidetracked i know um december christmas i just think like i need to see this the ipsy glam bag ultimate like christmas the december box so i definitely will probably keep it until then you know my birthday is in December Christmas is in December so I think I'm gonna treat myself up until then and then I don't know if if I'll keep it I'll keep it if I don't I don't I'm just gonna see how the rest of the boxes go um but yeah I'm I'm still pretty excited about it and I'm fairly happy with it so you guys have to let me know what you thought down below if you purchased the ultimate box um let me know what you got if you got anything different and how you liked it and how you're feeling about it um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.